Were you in the tour of San Antonio? Nobody told me, man. Damn it. This is Uncle Ricky's city. You're in my backyard, people. Something you have to know about in San Antonio? These are where the missions got started, and this is how Texas was actually formed. Mission Concepcion. Looks like the uh, cover from uh, Hotel California. <laughs> Even if you're not religious, if you're an atheist, you got to admire the art. Well, nobody's here. Nobody's been here for hundreds of years. And I used to come here all the time, jump over the walls, and just take in the culture and history. I want to show you the first security fence ever. Right there. <laughs> if you got through that, you could get in the mission. And then they went to glass, but that's a different story. That's the Cuban Puerto Ricans. They invented that. I don't want to talk about it. Well, here it is, man, Harlanda High School. This is where I went to school. And the kids, they don't change. Still as Mexican as who was when I was here, and they're still skipping. <laughs> Underneath the bleachers, I was going to get my first kiss. I got my kiss, but her mom caught me, too. And that was one of the scariest moments of my life, man. And these bleachers, if they could talk, they could tell a really good story, man. Dropped out my sophomore year, and uh, thank God for band, because that's the only thing that really kept me in the school was band. Thank you, Harlandale, for the years you did give me and the education that I got. We went to Garcia's restaurant, and we went to uh, Babar Barbecue with Fernando Augie. But this is another friend of mine that we didn't quite make it here, and I wish you would have. It's MK Davis and the best chicken fried steak you've ever had. You already know what I want. Okay. I'll go onion ring, and I want a uh, chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak. And you know what? Just bring me all this right here. I'm gonna eat all of it. <laughs> below, below. When I first saw this barber shop, it was by Fluke. The barber I usually go to wasn't there. So I just came here just by mistake. And that was three years ago. And I've never stopped coming ever. Hey guys, how's it going? What's up, man? T. That's my barber right there. Bruce over there, man. The only guy that can you know, talk and cut hair at the same time. I'm ambidextrous. Yeah, ambidextrous. Yeah, I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> this is one of the major things that got started when I was in comedy. I got started here at the River Center Comedy Club. And this dude is the one that messed up my life. He's the one that told me, man, son, you got a, you got a, you got a future in comedy. This is Bruce Barshop, one of my dearest friends in this business. You just said great presence from the very start. I mean, we knew you were uh, going to be a hit. And we're so proud of what you do, you've accomplished. You know, it's, it's a great honor to the club to see the advance that you've made. And, you know, it's great for our success that you've had such success. Without that push many years ago, I don't think I would have been in the position I'm in. And I thank you for that. Well, That's an amazing thing you did. Thank you for, for coming back. I didn't want to, <laughs> but we had to fill this time. <laughs> Love you, man. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard.